What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video unboxing review. Today we got a 1-6 scale Dragon Ball statue. This likely might be my final Dragon Ball statue pending if UC Studio releases their Tianverse Goku this year. And how good it looks. But this basically fills up all my space for Dragon Ball. So this is UC Studio General Tao versus Kid Goku. I am pretty excited for this. For me, this fight was one of my favorite fights in Dragon Ball. Now, it was the time Goku truly lost a battle. You know, like he was outclassed, not by some cheap trick. He was just outfought. General Tao was stronger, faster, more powerful beam. And so when I first saw the statue, I was stoked for it. So I'm very excited to get this. As you saw, one of the arms was poking out. No damage though. Alrighty. COA is in here. It's a metal COA. Here is the base, not too big. It should fit very nicely in a detail. Height-wise, I had to use an extender, but the base is definitely leagues smaller than their other statue bases. Not too heavy, which I'm really grateful for. I didn't want a super heavy base. So I'm going to try to set up the base first before adding the characters. Uh, they actually taped these in here. So it's been a while since the last UC Studio statue came out. The last one was the Kame House, which was like November last year. So it was a long time ago. Does come double boxed just in case you're wondering. I already removed the original box. So this is uh, Corrin's Tower, in case you're not too familiar with Dragon Ball. You know, right above it is Kame's Tower. Goku had to climb this tower to get stronger so he could defeat General Tao. This statue sold out incredibly quickly. I believe it was only like two days. It's an ES of 652, so it's not a super tiny ES, but it sold out very quickly. So it does include overall three characters. The first being this little guy. Uh, so when Goku first went to Korin's tower, he met this little Indian boy. And his father was killed by General Tao. Spoiler alert. Let me show you guys the COA. UC Studio does these metal plates, which are really nice, actually. I love these. So, Battle of the Sacred Land of Korin. I got number 77 of 650. Very, you know, this is quite heavy, very durable. It's quite awesome. I love that they do these metal COAs. Definitely really cool. All right, next is General Tao's body. And he has heads and arms. On the back it says kill you. On the front, I'm not sure what that means. And in... 
So the next statue I should be getting should be either KD Collectibles Cell or uh, I'm getting a custom Velociraptor made. Uh, that one should be finishing this week, so. Pretty strong magnets. Gotta be very careful, especially with this hair. Now that could definitely, I could see that easily breaking. Luckily they packaged it great. Interesting. Everything is magnetized pretty strong. So they definitely didn't do weak magnets. Nothing annoys me more than weak magnets. You know, you're trying to set up a statue and then you can't even trust the magnets in it. Goku definitely is a little, is a good one six scale size. Texture detail, looks awesome. He even has some sensu beans in his back. Already just about done. One piece left, which is the log, which is what General Tao used to basically fly across the land. This bad boy is gonna go right in here. Boom. UC Studio General Tao vs. Goku with the COA. So not super big. I mean it's a little bit tall because of you know, Corn's tower. But it definitely is freaking awesome. So let's go ahead and set it up and review it. Alrighty, folks. So here it is set up in my DTOLF. Now, I did use DTOLF extenders because of Corn's tower. This is about 17 inches tall. And so this is more or less my Dragon Ball section, which starts actually over there where I do have a defunct Goku vs. Pirate Robot. Got this giant Kame house, the beginning of Dragon Ball, which was UC Studios' first statue. VKH Goku vs. Arale, which fortunately fits right there. Goku vs. General Tao, UC Studio, UC Studio Goku vs. Piccolo, UC Studio Kame house. Next to VKH Goku vs. Jiren, and then these are my other three Dragon Ball, VKH and MRC. So here it is. Obviously the base is much smaller, like width and depth wise versus like their Piccolo, as you can see, it fills up the entire detail. This one does not. Uh, this one is pretty tall though, because of Korin's tower, which I'm definitely grateful they included. You know, it's nice to have a Korin's tower in there. You know, they definitely captured the moment from the fight scene. You know, Goku fighting General Tao. I love the leaping pose in the air. It looks like he's flying because of the way they did it. And the paint job and detail is great. The faces, you know, UC Studio does a different style. Theirs it almost just looks more anime-ish, not as realistic. You know, like they do the glossy mouth and eyes. There's texture detail. The paint job is nice and clean. Goku looks perfect. His red outfit, ten dang his tail dangling down, he has his patch of sensu beans. There's that little guy on the Nimbus cloud. Corn's tower looks awesome, which you know has scuffs and detail all throughout. That giant tree stump, or no, that was used from a building. It was like a building ledge. Then the actual underbase looks awesome. You actually used like 
almost real, realistic Dragon Balls, you know, with all the numbers. And this is the number three. Uh, you know, each of their Dragon Ball statues are labeled. This is, you know, the third star one, second. This one is the fifth. You know, I believe they're going to be doing uh, seven total Dragon Ball statues, and each is labeled after a certain number, uh, you know, indicating, like, where at in the saga. Obviously, this one is number one, because you can't get earlier than that. Uh, but this is definitely a really awesome statue. I love it. I think it's very dynamic. It's great scene. I don't have lights installed in this detail, so I can't show you with my lights on. I do apologize. I have just never gotten the chance to install the detail flights. So apologies there. Now the COA is the same as the Kame House one, which is the metal plate. As you can see, focus. I really like these metal plates. It's reminiscent of Tasume, which you know obviously is the best you'll ever get. Yeah, this is overall just super legit. The likeness and detail and paint job is all top notch. There's nothing wrong with this statue in any way. The Nimbus Cloud, you know, three characters, has good presence, fits perfectly here in my Detolf. This one could be displayed honestly, top, middle, bottom, anywhere in a book good. You know, so I'm definitely very happy with it. I'd give this a perfect 10. There's nothing wrong with this statue I can think of. Has the underbase, the detail, the paint, the scene, captures the moment of this fight. If you have not seen this fight, YouTube it, Goku vs. General Tao. It's really awesome. Colors pop. It's a solid Dragon Ball statue. Highly recommend it. Uh, for those looking to put this in a detolf, I do use these detolf extenders. I actually doubled down just to be safe. You know, I have two of them now here with Tsume, which does weigh a lot more than this one. This one's not nearly as heavy, so I have zero worries. But it's a four inch extender, and then I also got that. So I doubled down to ensure 100% safety for this. This resin does not weigh a ton. If I was to guess, maybe eight to 10 pounds max, where, you know, the Tsume probably weighs more like you know, 12 to 15. This bad boy is sold out. Your best bet to get it is to, you know, go on eBay. You know, UC Studio, Unique Creation Collectibles are super legit company. You know, not only do they make Dragon Ball, but they also make, you know, other statues from other animes. I'm not too familiar with them, but definitely check them out. You know, I post all their products in my group. Any teaser pictures, so join my Facebook group, DBZ Resin Collectors. Their statues always sell out and then do go up in value. So you got to jump on their products ASAP, like day one, no delay. This is awesome. Congrats to all those who got this. Let's do a quick from the distance. Now you can see, turn on those lights or these ones. Yeah, there you have it. So, very awesome. Love it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.